Um, your father, uh, Melvin Carter Jr., the sergeant, uh, mm -hmm. well-known police officer. He was the face, of, public yes. face of the police department for many years. He was the PIO. I interviewed him many times. Yes, I remember that. Um, I, I do want to ask you, um, you were the target of, of a smear. Uh, mm -hmm. alleging that, that an uptick in gun violence uh, was linked to an unrelated robbery of some guns in your home. How do you juggle that as, some, as a son of somebody who spent his entire life devoted to the St. Paul Police Department and a pretty base attack by all accounts mm -hmm. on your integrity from the St. Paul Police Federation, the union? Yeah, that, that too was very disappointing. It was a hard moment, you know, that, that, that attack kind of made its way into the conversations that my children were having at school and the conversations that my wife was having at work. Uh, and, you know, I'm really proud and appreciative of St. Paul voters from all over the city and folks who came out and said, you know, we're gonna volunteer, we're gonna kind of stand up to this and say, this is not the type of politics that we're gonna accept in St. Paul. Uh, I've said since day one, though, that it's, this isn't indicative just of a feud between me and the police federation. Uh, it's indicative of exactly uh, what we need to change, the culture of policing that we need to change in our community. We wrapped our campaign around, uh, among other things, a community first policing plan that says we have to really invest to restore the trust that exists between our neighbors uh, and our police officers. That's critical to maintaining public safety, our ability to know that we're all on the same team. That's something that I'm going to do very proactively and very intentionally. Uh, and. I think that attack that they kind of levied against me uh, really shows exactly why that's so critical.